Hi guys, my name is Rachel and I'm gonna be going through a step-by-step -step of what I do to straighten my curly wild hair. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, don't straighten your hair, your hair is beautiful, let the curly hair just roam free and I totally feel you. I have had a time in my life where I let my curly hair do its curly thing. At this moment in my life, I really just prefer my hair straight. It's just easier for me to maintain on a daily basis. So I do prefer it straight and this is how I get it straight. So when I come out of the shower, I use these products in my hair, which I'll get to. The first thing are Claren. I think that's how you pronounce it, but we all take care of our face, we take care of our hair, but how many of us really take care of our scalp? So I really like to take care of my scalp. Even though I don't have any scalp issues, I don't have dryness or itchy or flaky or anything like that, I just like to know that I am taking care of my scalp and doing the best that I can for my hair's health. So the first one is the, let's see, <laughs> It's the soothing and anti-irritating one. I do believe this one might be discontinued just because I was purchasing it from Ulta and it went on sale and then I never saw it come back. I'd have to check if the original website still carries this, but this stuff is so good. It is a little expensive. That's why I try to stock up when it does go on sale, but it, it, I think it's around $20 for this tiny little bottle and I do use a lot of it. I have gone through maybe three of these and I have one more in stock after this one. So I really love this one. It smells absolutely amazing. And then the next one I use is the Curtain Strength. This one really helps with hair length, growth, strength, everything. So I can use all of that. I, I need all of that. It doesn't have such a pretty scent as the other one, but I still don't really smell it after I put the rest of the products in my hair but I do like knowing that I am taking care of my scalp. So those are the two that I put on my scalp. Afterwards, I love this. It's a 10, literally, it's a 10. It's amazing. It smells great, it conditions my hair, it detangles that curly, crazy hair that I have, and it also helps with color protection, it helps with heat protection, it has just so many benefits, and I really feel like everything that it claims to do, it really does. And on top of it, it just smells super, super good. So I do like the light. I do prefer the original um, purple bottle. That one really does work well on my curly hair. The light, I know it's meant for, you know, if you have fine hair or, you know, if your hair easily gets super oily and you need just something light, this is what you would go for. But I really like both. I really can't complain. I love this stuff. I've been using this stuff for forever. Uh, it is a little bit pricey as well, but I think it's well worth it. And then the next thing I use is a serum from Design Essentials. This smells so good. I don't know why agave and lavender would work, but it does. And I actually, I can see it working. Uh, it smells really good and it works well on my hair. It doesn't weigh it down. It never gets too heavy, but I really like it and also helps with heat protection, which I can not get enough of. So the more heat protection I can do on my hair, the better, because I do use quite an amount of heat on my hair on a daily basis, which I know is a huge no-no. Yeah, I just, <laughs> that's what I gotta do to get my hair to this state. So after my hair is wet and I put all these products, I let it air dry. If I'm in a pinch, I will blow dry it with my Amica airbrush or round brush, airbrush, something like that. I really love this a lot. I think I'm like the last person to jump on that train. This is really, really good. I just love how easy it is to use. I do not know how to use a blow dry and a round brush separately. It's like the most difficult thing for me to do and my hair always comes out looking terrible. So before I put my hair in sections and before I straighten my hair, if my hair is completely dry and I'm about to straighten it or curl it or even blow dry it, I do put one of these products on my hair and it's the AG Firewall or the 
Dry Bar Hot Toddy. Both of these are really great. They're more for heat protection, which like I said, more heat protection I can get, the better it is for my hair. This one, I feel like the difference between the two is this one does give it a shine. It does put you know, an oil into your hair, which I really do like because my hair is curly, so it tends to be more dry. If you spray too much, it can weigh it down. So that's why you'll see in the clip that I just kind of go over it very lightly. I really like this guy a lot. And for the Hotty Toddy, same thing. It's a hair protection. I don't feel like it gives me any oil to my hair, but I just know that it is, you know, protecting my hair from the heat and it smells really, really good. What I straighten my hair with is the Croc, not to get confused with the sandal or chancla that everybody wears. This one is the titanium one. It is the fatter size. I know there's one that's like a one inch. I think this might be the one and a half inch, I believe. Uh, but I do prefer the wider length or the wider side of this just because it just grabs more hair much quicker for me. And I really prefer this one. I have used probably every flat iron you could possibly think of. And it's hard to find a flat iron that you can use and just go past it once and not have to keep doing it again and again to get it straight. I did used to use one called the T3. I don't remember which model, but from the T3 brand and it was great. It was phenomenal, but I do find that this one works way better. I put it at 380 and I do put my hair in sections, very skinny, small sections. The skinnier the section is, it is going to take a little bit longer, but your hair is gonna look so much nicer, so much straighter, and just have a longer lifespan of, you know, having it straight. I brush my hair through with, you can really use any brush. I just have the Babyliss Pro one. I like that it has the Boris brushes and then the plastic ones as well, uh, just so it really combs through my hair. And then as I'm straightening it, you will see I use this guy. I got this guy on Amazon. There is no label on it whatsoever, but I will try to find it and link it down below. This is really great. It has bristle brushes on both ends. And so what I do is I will grab the section nice and tight, and then I will take the flat iron and go right over. It gives the flat iron this smooth, easy guide to go through. It just makes my hair super nice and straight and tangle free as I'm going with the flat iron. That is honestly a life changer. If you've never used it, I highly recommend getting one because it just makes the straightening process a lot faster, a lot easier, and it just gives your hair a longer lifespan when it's all smooth out as your flat iron. Once I'm done flat iron, I do like to give my hair a little bounce, a little curl, and I will use the T3 curling iron. I believe this is also an inch and a half. Really, really like this guy a lot. It's so smooth. It doesn't really pull on my hair ever. It just really easy to use. And I always put it on the second level. Uh, I don't know how you can do the third or fourth or even fifth because on the second level It's already super super hot. So I try not to leave my hair in that curl for too long I just try to go very quickly anyways. I want more of a loose curl. So I really love this It's the best one I've ever used so far and on the days where I'm trying to Give my hair a little bit more life after like let's say the third or fourth day I do go over with a dry shampoo shampoo and it will be one of these. I love any IGK dry shampoos. I know there's like a charcoal one. I think it's called jet lag. There's also a pink one and I've tried all three. I love them all. They're all super great. They get your hair super clean, smelling clean, feeling clean. Uh, it is also a little pricey, but I feel like it's well worth it or just wait till it goes on sale and stock up then. But I really love these a lot. I don't like any dry shampoo that gives me like texture or grit on my hair just because my hair is already so dry. It makes it feel even dry 
prefer with it a drugstore option i do use the pantene one it does the same thing really it smells great feels great makes my hair feel and smell clean and that's really what i'm just looking for and then i will go with the amica round brush and i will just blow dry everything out to give it that nice smooth look and at the very end of everything i will take this ogx orchid oil it just gives my hair this beautiful shine without weighing it down. I tend to just spray it onto my hand, kind of rub it in, and then just go more onto the ends. Just because if I spray it onto my hair, I feel like I'm spraying too much product that I really don't need. So I just do maybe like two sprays and then just work it into my ends. And also it smells so, so good. It doesn't weigh down my hair. And that's kind of the step-by-step -step of what I do to straighten my curly hair. All the products, if I can find them, they'll be listed below. And if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.